Hi, my name is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I want to say it's really great that you guys invited me to be here. Um, I'm, I really appreciate it. I think that socialism is the new way to go. I think fuck America. Fuck what it stands for. Fuck this racist, shit-ass country. Everybody's here evil and bad. And if we were socialists, then we all would have a much better chance to be good people. Thank you very much for my one minute. I'm on your side, but you're not. So, funny story. I filmed the Kamala Harris video, like, Friday. I had planned to film it, like, uh, Tuesday, Monday, whenever the fuck it was that he announced that she was running me. It's going to be a big thing. And then I, I just didn't do it. <laughs> like, I got home after work every day, and I started watching Dragon Ball, and I just, I just, just fucking just didn't do it. And then finally, I think I filmed it on Friday. <clears throat> And I made this whole big deal about how I'm not coming back. I'm just doing this. I'm still on break. And I'm just doing this. And then yesterday I posted it because I'm like, well, I think I'm done with break. So this will be my first video back. Whatever. And then today when I got home, I remembered that I had fucking... <laughs> that I had said that I wasn't back. And I was laughing because I'm like, well, I'm... I'm back. <laughs> so I'm back. There, there you go. I'm done with my break. I think I think I've kind of gotten there. Like yesterday was best night's sleep I've had in months. I got into bed before ten o'clock, and I was in bed. I was sleeping. My alarm went off to tell me it's ten o'clock. Uh, I, uh, I remember that I fucking hadn't turned that off, so I shut that off. And then I went to bed. Like I. I don't even know what time I went to bed, which means I went to bed really early, maybe 10.30 at the fucking latest. I was out. And then I woke up at like, I don't know, 2, 3 o'clock, somewhere around there. <clears throat> Took a piss, went back to bed, and went right the fuck out again. Slept until, I, I think like 5.30ish or something like that, because I always wake up like an hour before my alarm. And then... Rolled around as normal and fucking got up. Felt great. Felt great all day today. Still wide awake. It's amazing. <laughs> so, I, I, hey, I don't know. Maybe this is my thing. Maybe it's just a thing for a while. Who knows? But fucking hey, something's working. Shit happened last night and it was it was all right. So hey, cool. Um, so I think I'm back. Maybe it was the reducing and stress. And maybe this is just going to set me right off again and I'm going to go back to sleeping for shit. We'll see. This is how we diagnose shit. This is how medicine works. <laughs> so, we're back. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I, I, I'm not as like angry about shit anymore. Like, now it's just all kind of funny to me. Because, like... It's all just desperation. It's just, it's the frustration. Like, watch Bill Barr's hearing. I've been feeling that way with everything. The whole, for months, I've been feeling that way with everything. It's all just so obnoxiously irritating and constant all the fucking time. I was just like, I gotta, I can't, I can't fucking deal with this shit anymore. Like, you know when you get stressed and you feel that shit up in the fucking, up in your shoulders and that neck muscle that fucking goes, and it just starts to get tight? Dude, I was like that 24-7. I was stressing in my sleep about this shit. So, yeah, it's no fucking wonder. So I just had to take a break, kind of decompress a little bit, find my humor about this shit again, because it's just getting far too serious. It was get, it was getting tough to make funny videos. It shouldn't be that tough for me to make funny videos. I've been doing this for forever, and b believe me, there's humor to be had. So, <laughs> and speaking of humor to be had, did anybody catch the Democratic convention yesterday? I didn't. I, I didn't even know it was happening. They they advertise the shit constantly because it's on. 
fucking the, all the news stations. I, I didn't. I I, I. I didn't think of it. I didn't care. <laughs> like, I didn't know. So they said the day it was on. And I was like, oh shit, that was on. How'd that go? And like, they trotted out Michelle Obama so that she could give her recorded speech from like a week ago. And there was that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, dude, like, here's the thing. This is, this was the theme of it as far as I could tell. We don't like Donald Trump. We don't want Donald Trump to win a second term. We want our people in charge of you. If you do not make this happen, the troubles will continue until you do. That, that's what I took from it. Whatever you want to say about it, man, that's what I take from it. They, Hillary Clinton said years ago, if you want all this kind of stuff to stop, you better start electing Democrats. Wow. Like, I, you can't seriously make the mess and then point at somebody else and go, look at that mess they made. You can't fucking go to work every day and do nothing and then blame somebody else for your job need not getting done. Like, people are starting to understand. People became confused. People started to be taught weird shit. Like, they became house rules. That they weren't actually rules, but they became house rules. Everybody just thinks that's how it works. They thought, when the president was impeached, that that was it. It was done. They didn't have to suffer anymore. Donald Trump was gone. Because they didn't know how the fucking system worked. Like, all of those people that thought that should really rethink all of their points of view. Because perhaps you don't know how our system works. Evidenced by you not knowing how our system works. <sighs> Donald Trump said, I'm going to build a big, beautiful wall. It's going to be 300 feet tall and have ramparts on it with giant American flags every 10 feet. And it's gonna be beautiful. And we're gonna paint it red, white, and blue. And we're gonna write from sea to shining sea, literally from sea to shining sea. The, whole, the text is gonna span, you're gonna see it from fucking space. It's gonna be so amazingly awesome. And then, Everybody did everything they could to stop that from happening. And Donald Trump didn't get to build the wall. He didn't get to build the big, massive, beautiful, wonderful wall that he promised us. And then they had the audacity. All of the people that blocked him building the big, beautiful wall, they had the audacity to point at him and go, See, he lied to you on his campaign promise. He told you he was going to build you a big, beautiful wall. And he didn't do it. You didn't let him. It's not his fault that he promised that he was going to get something done. You had to okay. And you said no. That's not his fault. Because you know what? The wall's getting built, ain't it? Yeah, it might not be the Great Wall of America that was promised to us. But a wall's getting built. Fuck you. Looks like that shit's happening. And it's been that for four fucking years. And it's just getting more retarded now. Because now we know. We were lied to. Obama came out literally and said, I can't really just do this. And then he went out and just did it. And everybody was like, oh, okay. Well, I, I didn't know the executive... When was the last time that we had a, le a televised executive order? It was, what, a couple of weeks ago? 
And before Barack Obama, when was the last time we had one pre-Obama? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It, the executive order itself was not a thing that existed in my life until Barack Obama. Because all of a sudden, there was just a whole lot of executive orders getting signed and shit was just getting done. And I'm like, well, if it's that fucking easy, why didn't Bush do that shit? Like, what? what's going on here? And then I found out, well, that shit doesn't work unless everybody just kind of goes, okay. It's literally what it is. If everybody just kind of shrugs and goes, okay, then that's what happens. DACA. <laughs> it just happens. And then everybody goes, house rule. A and it just becomes a house rule. And then somewhere along the line, it becomes an actual rule. <laughs> and it's like, what, 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 what? So you made it a rule to start the ball rolling, but you couldn't really. And then later on down the line, when you got the support you needed to just make it a rule, you just made it a rule. Like then you just said, okay, well now it's for real. How does that work? And it only works if everybody just kind of goes, okay. So then Donald Trump comes in. And he just executive ordered away all of the bullshit executive orders that shouldn't have been fucking made in the first place because everybody just went, okay, and I want to fucking shit up. And so he said, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to undo all that dumb shit. And he just undid all the house rules. He said, yeah, all those are stupid house rules. We're not playing by those rules anymore. <laughs> And everybody went, well, that's not okay. And he went, wasn't okay in the first place. We're going back to normal. And they went, well, what can we do about that? And it was like nothing. You can't do anything. His position made up the house rule. And everybody went, okay. Now the new person in his position is taking all of the house rules that you couldn't make actual rules because you didn't have your people in those positions and able to do it, then he's just saying, yeah, th those aren't house rules anymore. I I'm undoing all that nonsense. And he can just do that because it was nonsense before. He can out nonsense nonsense. He can un nonsense shit. <laughs> but that's all he's done. He's done like two executive orders that I'm like, eh. It's not really his call to make, but he's making the house rules. So if everybody goes, okay, then I guess, okay. <laughs> and everybody kind of went, well, that's, no, we can't do that. And they said, well, you want to undo it? And everybody went, ah, okay. And so the new house rule is, okay. Like, people just don't understand how the fucking system works. They think the president has control of everything. And then when the president says, okay, well, then we're going to do this. And then everybody that actually has control of all of that goes, no. Then he goes, all right, we'll try something different. <laughs> <laughs> he snuck in federal troops into Portland. We're protecting the federal courthouse. And everybody got to see, everybody in Portland got to see what utter lawlessness looked like for weeks at the courthouse. It looked like a bunch of people kept attacking the courthouse and then Donald Trump stormtroopers coming out and fending them off. And then Donald Trump stormtroopers would go back into the Death Star and fucking wait for them to attack the Death Star again. And then the next night when they would attack the Death Star again, all of the stormtroopers came out and shoot everybody away and then the next day the fucking courthouse still stood <laughs> and then they're looking around at their neighborhood going everything's on fire here but the courthouse is still standing 
because Donald Trump is protecting the courthouse. And a lot of people are going, fucking Donald Trump's not protecting my neighborhood. What the fuck? He can't. There's local police that have to be considered first. It's their jurisdiction. Well, who controls whether or not the police are doing their job? Well, the mayor. And everybody's starting to catch on to how the system works. So now, mayors are coming under scrutiny because why aren't you protecting our community? We've learned that that's not actually Donald Trump's fucking job. It's your job. Why aren't you doing your job? So they're going to have to answer those angry fucking questions. While at the same time having to field the angry questions of why haven't you just dismantled the whole police department yet? We want to be able to rob and kill people. At will. We want the purge. We need the purge. Right? So... That's the position they're in because people are learning. Because Donald Trump is teaching us civics 101. <laughs> and I think it's great. I think it's hysterical. Nobody watched the convention. Nobody cared. Like their viewership was for shit. That was being reported. Donald Trump has quite possibly the most apocalyptic and controversial rally ever held by a political person in existence. During a pandemic, the man has a fucking rally. Thousands of people show up. And millions of people watch at home. Nine million, was it? Like nine million people watch it online and shit? During a pandemic, Thousands of people said, I will weather the possibility of imminent death to go and see this man speak on my behalf and talk about the issues that I care about and say the things I want to hear from my leader. And millions of people at home said, I don't want to go, but I want to hear what he's got to say. And then the Democrats hold their biggest fucking thing for the year, their big old shindig with all the weird hats and apparently, I, I don't fucking know, and and whatever, all their, whole, all their horse shit, all the pomp and ceremony. And I think the same thing about the Republicans too, so don't get me wrong. But they do their big thing, and pfft, everybody's like, eh. <laughs> And I have to hear them try and spin that shit all day today. I have to hear how they're spinning that shit. And Joe, that means Joe Biden's going to win. Nobody watched because everybody already knows that Joe's going to win this. And they don't even need to hear what we've got to say. They know we're just the right thing for them. Wow. Like, dude. It, it, I don't know, man. I I just fucking man. It's frustrating. Like it's 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 just frustrating. It's frustrating because it's people saying you'll buy this because yes, in fact, I believe you're that stupid. And then I have to hear all the people that are that stupid that are buying it. And I'm just like, oh. when I'm looking at the news, I'm seeing stupid people feeding stupid lines to people they think are stupid. And then I, I turn off the news and I talk to a person and I find out you're one of the people that's actually that stupid. Whatever. 
So the Democrats are doing their thing. Uh, apparently this is going to be night two. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was given one minute to speak because if we give her a minute, then she can't possibly, in a minute, she can't possibly get over herself enough to say anything too stupid that's going to just fuck everything up. So we can't, we certainly cannot fit her in for an actual speech. But if we don't have her speak, everybody's going to go, what the fuck? You don't want Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez speaking? She's one of your rising stars. Why don't you want to hear what she has to say? Well, okay, well, we'll hear what she has to say. We'll give her a minute. <laughs> But at least she doesn't have to, like, applause breaks and shit like that. Hello, everybody. If she was there live, hello, everybody. And then people would cheer for a minute and give her a standing ovation for a minute. And then she'd go, well, that's my time. And then walk off stage. And that would have been fucking fantastic in and of itself. But, you know, so she doesn't have to worry about that shit. Cause it's all you know, it's all online. She's just, she's essentially gonna do what I've been doing for 21 minutes now, except she's gonna do it for one minute. So here's a fun thing: a game for you to play until my video tomorrow, when you can play the game again. Watch one minute of this video. Any one minute that you want, just pick a random minute, and then find out if in that minute you understand anything about what I'm talking about in that entire section of the fuck your video. And that's how much time she has to fill. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I want to say it's really great that you guys invited me to be here. Um, I'm, I really appreciate it. I think the socialism is the new way to go. I think fuck America. Fuck what it stands for. Fuck this racist shit ass country. Everybody's here evil and bad. And if we were socialist, then we all would have a much better chance to be good people. Thank you very much for my one minute.